Hello everyone, this is Jim Ogrzynski with your weekly screencast video. So just taking a look at the schedule for the week, I did decide to move out uh, the due date for the first draft and the peer report. Previously, on the older uh, the revised schedule, um, it was due on Wednesday, but I pushed that out to Friday. I'd like to give everybody the opportunity to complete exercise 4.3 as I scroll down in the announcements page. Um, exercise 4.3 will be due Sunday, April 12th. Uh, the exercise itself and your peer review report and then the corresponding uh, peer review uh, based on your exercise uh, 4.3 that's due Monday end of day. This gives you the rest of the week to work on your first draft and your peer report. So my expectations with that additional time uh, are a little bit uh, greater. So I also adjusted the due date for uh, that for exercise 4.3. Once again, you'll be uploading three GDoc links. The due date is Monday the 13th at end of day. So remember, one GDoc link will be your exercise 4.3. The second GDoc link will be the peer report uh, that you have here. And the third GDoc link will be naturally the peer review that you wrote for uh, a classmate about their exercise of uh, 4.3, answering that and writing that peer review in their report. Just capture those links as you work through them. All you have to do is copy and paste them into the text box, right? Click on write submission in the assignment, click on the text box and open that up, copy and paste those uh, three links into that assignment. Uh, anybody who uploads Anything less than the three uh, links will, of course, be some sort of a reduction in the grading. I haven't really decided on that, but it's a pretty straightforward assignment. And then you can go right into uh, drafting your first uh, essay there, uh, your first draft of your essay. So looking at the Chapter 4 unit, remember to take a look at the drive instructions. I will cover those shortly in the drive account. Here are the criteria. Please read the criteria and the numbered bullet points here to uh, see that everything that you have, uh, that you've included everything in this list. All right. Uh, once I receive first uh, drafts, I will uh, begin a process of uh, commenting on those drafts. I do not like to interfere with the peer review process. And I'll figure out a way that I can comment on those drafts uh, more than likely I'll probably make a copy of your draft, comment in that to preserve the original first draft uh, for peer review. All right. So here's the link for uh, three ways in. Right. Just click on that. The whole activity is worth 25 points. Write submission. Click on that and copy and paste your GDoc links into the assignment here. Now, I want to caution everybody because time is uh, kind of moving along in the semester here. There is the course folder with the research essay assignment folder. I have some people who've created their folders already. And as I state in the drive instructions, please create a folder, your last name, research essay here. You will include your exercise 4.3 and your peer report in your folder. All right. So the idea here is, is just to... Um, when I say make a copy, click on and open the exercise uh, 4.3 template. So uh, when I say make a copy, just click on file, please. Make a copy. It'll make a copy for you once you get into that copy. Okay. You want to share this with the same people so that it's still in this folder. Everyone will be able to see your document and comment in it. Now, before you start working and writing your name, you want to go up to here. So when I say rename it, you want to rename it. So in the name of the title of the document, instead of copy of, you want to put in your last name. So whatever that may be, for example, Smith underscore exercise 4.3. Okay. And once you do that, that will save that document. All right. 
So the idea here is, is that you want to be able to then start working in it and you preserve the original peer review report here for other students in, in the class. So that way they can pick up that report. So it's important that uh, you um, turn around and make a copy and rename that report. So once you um, complete that report, <clears throat> right, you can, let me see here. I'm going to refresh this. Do I have a copy of a Smith here? All right. So as you can see at the bottom here, I have a copy of Smith exercise 4.3. That's what will happen with yours. What you want to do then is drag that into your particular folder. I'm going to remove this so that there is no confusion on that. And once again, here we go. We have the copy of the exercise 4.3. Three peer report is preserved for everybody else. All right. So the idea here is to make sure these documents are in your folder. This is where your first draft will be uploaded. I will in this folder have a separate peer review report that will address the first draft of the research essay by the middle of the week. Uh, that will be uploaded in a folder and it'll be labeled accordingly, all right? So hopefully everybody has a clear understanding of what's happening in the drive folder. Let's get back to cancel on the assignment. You have your instructions here for the first draft. Everybody should be familiar with the exercise 4.3, three ways in and also uh, the instructions for the first draft submission and the first draft of peer reviews that are all in the chapter four unit. Uh, later this week, I will upload the lecture video and I'll talk about drafting and how to go about that. We talked about the organizational structure, but I'd like to just cover a few more points before we get into chapter five and working on revisions. Uh, that's all I have for this week. So. Um, uh, stay safe and good luck and email me if you have any questions.